Hey everyone, it's Schmuckles. Don't mind my hairish woke up. Today we're going to talk about a valid chapter 31 new killer theory. This theory is something that is kind of building off of the previous leaks that we've been talking about in this video series. And in my opinion, it could very well be true. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. The theory itself comes from Gorgira. This is something that everybody is talking about because it goes so well with the potential leaks that we've been covering in this series. So everyone's talking about it. Everyone thinks that this could potentially be the chapter 31 new killer. And Gorgira is actually the one that brought this theory into the public eye. Pretty impressive. Gorgero said next DBD killer called the Watcher slash Watchers. I don't know which one. There are three World War I soldiers possessed by aliens called the Watchers. According to that YouTube comment leak, this matches up. Three humanoid aliens. So this is actually a theory that comes from the Dead by Daylight lore. And more specifically, after doing some research, I found that these characters come from the Haunted by Daylight tome. And those tomes are no longer available to access, so we actually had to use the Dead by Daylight wiki to look up these characters. But they are first mentioned in the Haunted by Daylight event. The Haunted by Daylight event mentions three prisoners. Three English-speaking prisoners of World War I who were taken into the fog. In search of a lost temple, they were captured by the enemy. After witnessing two of their companions executed and barely escaping their pursuers, they fell into the temple they sought and into the entity's realm. During the Haunted by Daylight event, the three watchers entered their minds and they created the esoteric hooks and esoteric generators in an attempt to open a doorway home. And for the three watchers, these are three unseen individuals who entered the minds of the three prisoners. They have some unknown end goal in mind involving the devices attached to the esoteric hooks and esoteric generators. So if you consider the three watchers who entered the minds of the three prisoners, prisoners to be aliens of some sort, this could be something that is absolutely in line with the previous potential leaks that we've been covering. A lot of people thought that Gorgira might actually be kidding about this tweet, because Gorgira posts a combination of jokes as well as real potential leaks. Gorgira said, I'm not trolling by the way, if I was trolling, I'd at least include a punchline. Even if Gorgira is trolling or not trolling, the bottom line is this actually comes directly from the Dead by Daylight lore, and it does seem to match up with the previous potential leaks that we've gotten. So what I'm saying is even if people think that this was a total troll post, it still works really well as a potential new killer theory for chapter 31. You know, I actually looked this up online just now and apparently that these watchers are actually from the event tome 3 in the Haunted by Daylight 2022, not 2023. And this is when the lore mentioned these three watchers. This is in the third tome entry something Wicked All Hallows Eve. The cloak survivor moved through the fog trying to destroy the devices before it was too late. But the survivor's attempt have been marred by three watchers who somehow had entered the minds of the prisoners. Through memories, visions, and dreams they had been made to believe harnessing dark energy was their only chance to escape, that the devices would somehow open a doorway back home. But the cloak survivor knew better. The cloak survivor could see the dark energy and was doing something else to the world, and that the three watchers had something more wicked in mind. So these watchers were a part of the Haunted by Daylight event in 2022, but the Haunted by Daylight event in 2023, we saw that watchtower that had been manipulated in some way, and we thought that was in some way potentially teasing new content. This is something that was brought to my attention by Costi Frosty. When we did more research on that, we found that the Observer actually discovered this in the tome cutscenes for Dead by Daylight. Daylight. The observer is climbing alongside the water tower, and this is clearly the same kind of water tower that we see in Dead by Daylight, and it's infected in the same way. He finally climbs up to the top of the water tower, and this is what he sees. And eventually, this cocoon that's on top of the water tower bursts open. The observer wakes up in this blue kind of environment, and it kind of is showing the backstory for how the Haunted by Daylight came to be in the entity's realm. We can see the observer is surrounded by ghosts, and these are the same ghosts that we saw during the Haunted by Daylight event. So if this new chapter is in some way related to the Haunted by Daylight events in Dead by Daylight, which that's where the three watchers came into play, Haunted by Daylight 2022. Maybe we would see the Haunted by Daylight 2023 voids as the potential new map for Chapter 31. Chapter 31 could potentially be an original chapter that's been teased in the Dead by Daylight lore. And this is really not too dissimilar from when the Blight came into Dead by Daylight as well, because the Blight was teased in the Tome lore and cutscenes way before he came into the game. So could the same be happening right now for this Chapter 31 new killer? There's also a really interesting theory that lined up with this that someone posted about in September of 2023. They had a really interesting speculation regarding Dead by Daylight lore. This person seemed convinced that the chapter 30.5 paragraph was going to be an original survivor named Saku from the Dead by Daylight lore, which it actually turned out to be Alan Wake. They even kind of speculated that this person holding Zarina's masks, which we actually saw in the loading screen for the Masquerade event, could potentially be a new killer in the game. They thought that this was teasing the arrival of this new character, this person who is holding the mask in this picture, which was on 
on the loading screen, but they speculated that chapter 33 was going to be the Observer and the Watchers. Either the Observer and the Watchers or Saku and the Watchers. They said, I'm not sure, but one thing's for certain. Saku, Observer, Jezebel, and Watchers are most likely all coming into the game over the next year. So could Saku or the Observer potentially be the new survivor that would be coming in with the Watchers? Because all of these characters are closely tied together within the Dead by Daylight lore. And bringing in a character that people know from the Dead by Daylight lore, such as the Observer, could potentially increase sales for this new chapter. And what do you think about the Haunted by Daylight 2023 Void coming in as a brand new map? It definitely kind of strikes me as like an Area of Crows kind of map with a bluish tint. There's all sorts of things floating into the air, and the structure seems to kind of look like that similar graveyard look. And to be honest, I think it might kind of be a little bit lackluster, because this is something that we've already actually experienced and already played on during the Haunted by Daylight event 2023. So if Behavior were just to bring in a larger version of the Void just sort of as its own standalone map, it's really something that we've already seen and experienced, so it wouldn't really feel that new necessarily. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. How is everyone feeling about those potential leaks? If we assume that the potential leaks are accurate, do you think that the new killer for Chapter 31 is going to relate to the Watchers from the Dead by Daylight lore? Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. That does it for this video. Goodbye.